Yeah, afternoon, 150 for Ramsey, middle of the fairway, excellent tee shot. It's hot out here, guys and girls, beautiful day. Well, he had a spectacular finish to his round yesterday. That was nearly some start. Very nice. In the middle, excuse me. You do have a bit of a backstop beyond this flag that you can use to your advantage. Just don't want to go long left. Yeah, interesting to hear that Jamie Spence was saying that it's a different wind direction today. Typically, you go out to the golf course and you do have that prevailing wind and it helps the players out, really. You have a similar sort of club, but what a shot for Matt Jordan on the fifth. Even though he's coming off the upslope, he's going to want to hit this kind of a little bit low because he's got to run it over a ridge. It's going right to left the entire time once it hits the green. Yeah, that's pretty well played. It's quite difficult to get the ball stopping. Yellow. Passer for Hidalgo down the hill. I think someone... Oh, what a result. I think someone commented on social media recently saying it looks like a Wi-Fi router with the colour of that shaft. Gabs Cowley, middle of the 18th fairway, just a flick in here. Pins on 20 today. This is a very accessible pin. 10 from the right-hand side. Yeah, that's another good birdie chance. Married with three eagles. This is to get to 11 under, right to left, down the hill. Oh, yeah, what a beautiful finish. Beautiful. What a round of goal. 64 from Gabs Cowley. It's one of the hardest holes on the golf course, the par 3, 16th. And Van Dam. How about that? Another one goes. Well, oh, there's a big tier that you can't quite see from this view, so it should break quite a bit right to left. An outside chance for Birdie. Wait, 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 wait. No way. Oh, what a part. <laughs> well, she's eight under for the round as well. We saw the ball fly in the air, worked it left to right. Is it going to come back? It's getting even better. What a shot from Yannick Paul. And converts. Catlin second, the fifth hole from the middle of the fairway. That's an absolute beauty. Dale Whitnell, but this will be the lowest round from a female player in the field. 63 and Van Dam. Pretty narrow between the bunkers. And you have to look out for spin. There's some back to front pitch in this part of the green. That's a Dale Whitnell we saw yesterday. Just keeping that right arm in tight. Nice short, sharp. That's just such a good rhythm. It really is. How about that for a leaderboard, though? I think a lot of us didn't see this coming. The ladies proving a dominant performance with Anne Van Dam leading the ladies' way at nine under par. Kielsen's birdie putt up the hill at eight. Long birdie putt. Oh, get in there, you little beauty. I mean, this is one of them that you mentioned. I mean, today is not much wind, but yesterday we had left to right and more helping, and it's uh, they're probably hitting, what, seven or eight irons in here. Uh, and today, wow, it's a pretty good shot there. The whole location is quite close to the to the edge there. You can see on some of them, there's some, all the, you know, these... Um,
prime favourite, Yannick Paul. Not only have they got the best seat in the house, now let's see, can they catch it? Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Not entirely sure why that could be. It may be a bit of adrenaline. Van Drill, second shot into 18. Well, his compatriot and Van Dam nearly hold one here. Birdie at 18 for Van Drill. Lovely up and down. Eight under par. Good. One shot given away is careless. Two just becomes a little bit more uncomfortable. Well, there you go. A double bogey. I mean, it's hardly panic stations. The lead's gone from eight to six. Now, Waring's birdie putt down the hill, left to right. This is going to break quite a lot. He's oh, got the Sophie good. Walker bounce, hasn't he? Chat with Sophie, birdie. Happened to uh, Del Whitnell yesterday as well. The pin's kind of closer to that front portion. Got to watch out for that false front, though. Absolutely perfect. First birdie since the first for the Scotsman. That was excellent. Absolutely brilliant. Needed to make that part, to be honest. And Van Damme still in a share of second place. Oh, he nearly went for a tumble again there, but it's threatened to go in. Well, I can't tell you how good that was. He's hit that with absolute perfection. But it's a uh, good atmosphere up here around the 13th green. I have no problem at all with music and noise on the course. I think we need more of it and all the time. Now, just trying to pitch this about five yards short of the hole and let it bounce up. It's a beauty. It's party time at 13. Oh, he's got some moves as well, Yannick Paul. We saw you. Well, I think the diver's better than the putt, to be honest. Look at that launch angle. But look how the... the <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of splash there. I don't think. I think that's. Uh, it's, oh, oh it no! Looks like they They're might going be capsizing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little worried here. They might all be going down here. Look, the guy looking at the golf doesn't care though. Go. They came up a little short and right Go. yesterday. Go. Oh my! It didn't go. Well, it go but into the water type of yardage, downhill, mushy lie here into the wind. That's not going to be an easy up and down at all. Tough shot. Well, that's brilliant. As good as he could have done. Yeah, wonderful. Catch that a bit shy, it's coming back down, chipping back towards the water. Del Whitnell stood in charge but the lead is down to four, as close as it's been all day long. That was a great shot. Definitely helped the fact that he was on a slight uphill slope. What he's been instructed, I think eight or ten feet right is a pretty good line, give you some margin. Shot. Yannick Paul, he won in Mallorca at the end of last year. Ambitions for the Ryder Cup, 68. <laughs> Fantastic. That felt important for Del Whitnell. Saw Yannick Paul make his birdie. 
confirmation of uh, how it stands through 54 holes. That birdie finish from Dale Whitnell means it's uh, six shots to Richie Ramsey, who's in third place. Yeah, I mean, I had a couple of uh, instances where it uh, didn't quite go to plan, but I thought I kept my head and, uh, you know, just tried to plug away and try and take one shot at a time. I thought you did that really well. You bounced back incredibly from your, your drop shots. I think you need that going into the final round when you have not made a drop shot all tournament to almost get it out the way. Yeah, obviously. I mean, it's, you know, there was, you know, it's hard to go for a, a round of golf without dropping a shot, let alone two or three or four. Um, but yeah, I just sort of stuck to my guns and had a game plan and tried to execute it. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a bad day. It wasn't exactly ideal, but it was uh, more than acceptable. The lead has shrunk, but 18, that was an important birdie, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I mean, Yannick played great and hit some good, you know, good shots under pressure. Um, you know, he started off nice eagle down uh, the fourth and from there we sort of mixed and matched birdies. Um, but yeah, I just kept my head and, you know, it was nice to follow him up the last. Going into the final round, you've got a four shot lead. Dare you dream about your first DP World Tour win? We'll see you tomorrow. Good luck. Thanks. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.